Anyway, in this type of economy, a lot of people are now starting to work from their homes. We've got the before. There it is. Kind of basic, kind of cramped. And if your office looks like this and you realize that you may need some help, we'll give you some help. Some great tips on creating a home office without spending a fortune. Good morning, Arizona, and welcome back. Hey, does this look familiar? Does your home office look like this? Maybe just a little bit of you know, things piled up on top of each other, not much organization, not even really a desk to work on. Believe it or not, this is what someone was using, an antique desk, trying to do office work, and the kids were trying to do homework here. But that's why this morning we are bringing in Judith Mailing Carter, who is with Spaces Interior Design. Here's what it looks like now after Judith got her hands on this room, and you can see a big difference, definitely some working space. Judith, come on over here. We're here in Peoria at one of her clients' is home, and the the first thing you really have to do with every situation, of course, is assess the needs of the homeowner. Absolutely. I think that's probably the most important thing is to do a really uh, detailed assessment with the client and find out what we need to do to make it functional for them. Everybody has a different way that they like to work. Some people only need a computer screen and a keyboard. Other people have books, binders, papers, folders that all have to be out and utilized somehow. So. That's important. And the homeowner here really wanted to incorporate this old desk. She was trying to do work from this, which you said, you know, just to even pay bills or for the kids to do homework does not work. No, it wasn't working at all. Completely not functional. It's, it has a lot of sentimental value to her. It was something that she really wanted to keep, but it was not a functional piece, not in any way, shape, or form. All right, let's begin then with, with what your tips are for the folks at home. First up, you need a working desk like we are talking about. We did. This was an interesting situation because we had to have kind of a dual function in this room. Uh, the client wanted some place where not only she could work out of her home and pay bills and such, but some place that her son would have uh, room to do his homework and what he needed to do. We also wanted space in here for him to be able to uh, use his PlayStation and entertain his friends. So we had a lot of different things we had to encompass. We decided to give her an L-shaped, very clean line desk in here so that she would have a lot of room to spread out and that's really important. Um, you have to you have to absolutely make your home office functional. In order to do that, it has to be organized. In order to be organized, you have to have enough storage. That's absolutely key. And a lot of times we'll use the closet as storage. You'll put in shelves and things like that as we, well. Yeah, we always advise people to take the winter jackets out and put some good shelving in there so that they can put all of their um, uh, different supplies that they need, their office supplies, into the closet and get them out of the way. And here we have a sitting area in the back, like you were saying, for uh, her son to come with his friends, maybe play some PlayStation, but it's also an...